All right, here we are back at it again with another one of these kind of videos. While we're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's just watch and vibe. For this particular video, there was some music playing in the background, but it wasn't that loud. I wasn't sure what was playing and thankfully it was quiet. Sort of at the same time, there was a certain noise going on throughout the whole entire video because if you listen to it, yeah, you'll be hearing that during the rest of the video. So instead I just put music on top of it. That slush. I don't know if you hear the motorcycle going around in the background. It just remains quiet for the rest of the day, each day. And then all of a sudden, the moment you film, all of a sudden somebody just wanna mow their lawn or crank up the motorcycle, you know what I mean? Just, I think that's a norm for YouTubers these days. Now, I'm not normally a peach or mango person, but my cousin, she got me into it. She said, I'm not one either, but it actually tastes really good. I really wanted the blue raspberry one, but it wasn't ready. They had some different kinds of flavors. They had strawberry, margarita, pina coladas. They had some other good drinks too, but they weren't ready. I was looking at the non-alcoholic option and the only thing that was ready was peach mango. It happened to be that. So I gave that a try and it actually tastes good than I thought. I taste mainly the peach more than the mango part and if it was my last resort, I would definitely choose that. It also reminds me of when my mom and I had went to Taco Bell the other day and I was trying to get the red drink, the wild freeze, and of course, all the other options that they had, they didn't have it available. They apparently had the, the orange freeze mango thing available. Not sponsored, but it was good. It'd be nice if Taco Bell could sponsor me. Quesadillas are good, cheap quesadillas. Please forgive me if I sound ignorant. Going into aquarium, I couldn't understand why there were monkeys and birds in the aquarium. I didn't quite understood that. I was pretty lost. People who study the sea, aquariums and stuff, please let me know in the comments down below what's the point of that. Just please edumacate me on this. I can see like these crazy videos about me. They'd be like, This girl doesn't know science. She is so dumb. Then there was this cutest sloth that I saw. Oh my gosh, she was so cute, adorable, and beautiful. It just makes me want to just want to pet her and hug her. But clearly, if I um, touch it, she just may claw my eyes out. According to uh, Google, it don't touch them. There was this turtle that kept <laughs> photobombing and I thought it was pretty funny. It was getting all in the camera view. It was like, hey girl, girl, to my good side. Yeah, get here. Oh wait, let me come back. I'm like trying to get a specific shot of something and it just keeps happening. Any random normal person would be like, any, the turtle's gonna be swimming side to side and you just making this a big deal. Then I would say, I can't really think of a comeback because I'm not funny. This was the very first time that I've seen a manatee, mentee, I'm saying it wrong in my manatee. And you let me know in the comments down below how you determine the gender without actually looking a certain area. Can you look by a structure, all that stuff? You know, I'm gonna just Google it.
Another thing that caught me off guard was when we came across penguins. And here's where my ignorant knowledge comes in. Ignorance, I know nothing. With the heat going on in Texas weather, I assumed that penguins are mainly into cold weather. Obviously, I was wrong because penguins can deal with heated weather too. souvenir shop I saw these cute little things like these stress balls and everything and got me a shot glass that I'm never gonna drink out of I recently started collecting shot glasses no I don't drink out of them I don't drink I'm not much of a drinker on a daily basis I don't drink to get drunk drink responsibly and it's not glass it's actually plastic but I'm sure if I throw this on the floor it's gonna break anyways it's not glass okay I looked up on some things about the purpose of of aquariums looking on an article something about top seven benefits of public aquariums if you want to go read it yourself i'll put it in the link in the description down below It says aquariums like zoos provide fun-filled leisure and entertainment activities that double up as centers for animal rescue, care, and rehabil rehabilitation, scientific research, education, and conservation. Aquariums can also reduce stress, reduce anxiety, improve sleep patterns, lower blood sugar and heart rate, help with hyperactive children. Look at all this information I'm reading. I'll just put two of these articles in the link in the description down below. <laughs> I'm not much of an outspoken person. There are two different sides to what people think towards that. I'm on both sides, honestly. I like how some areas that you came across animals that actually has a lot of space where they can move around. Like I said, I am on both sides on this. There are some things that I don't really agree with. It makes me wonder, are the animals truly being taken care of? How I honestly feel. I don't want to go further into it because I feel like it's going to cause a fight or anything. I guess you get my drift. Before even considering doing this video, I wasn't sure whether to post it or not because I know how people can be, how they could look at you and be like, animal cruelty. It is isn't that. And you know, I've looked at other channels who did aquarium videos, things like that. And I came across was like maybe like six, seven months ago and they were getting pretty positive comments. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and post it. So I'm not sure how this video will turn out to be. I'm not looking forward to the negative comments. Comments. I should stop talking before I make things worse. Anywho, if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you guys in the next vlog, which is tomorrow. All right, bye.